Hey guys, what's up? October is over. This is going to be my last video with this Halloween background, but today I thought I would share with you my October favorites. October, rest in peace. We're going to be talking about some of my favorites for the month of October, and I have quite a few things, so I'm going to try not to make this a long intro and just get straight on into it. But uh, I loved October. It was fun. I had a good time. I think that's all I have to say about October. Let's get straight into it. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you do not miss any of my future videos. Just hit the little button and you're good. So I'm starting out with the boring of the boring. This is a nail polish remover, but I wanted to talk about it because I feel like so many nail polish removers are just neat hassle. It takes me forever to remove my nail polish, and I'm not having, I don't have gel polish on or glitter polish, anything that's supposed to be difficult, and for some reason, some nail polish removers just stink. And this one has more product, um, and it just works so much better, so much quicker, plus the bottle is so sleek to me. I love the font. I just love how it looks. I don't know. And it just works really well. And this one is the lavender one, so it's enriched with vitamin E and grapeseed oil. Um, and it's supposed to remove nail polish, nail glue, glitter polish, and more. It does all of that. It removes my gel polish super quickly as well. So, I don't know. I really like this. And I found it at Walmart. Um, and I'm pretty sure these are semi-newish because I haven't seen these at Walmart before this last month. So I really have been enjoying it and thought that I would share this little little tip thing with you, this little hack, this how to quickly remove nail polish. Use this nail polish remover. So now let's talk about some lashes because I've been obsessed. These are the Kiss uh, lashes and they're in they're shy is what they're called. They're shy. And uh, I am so in love with these. I've been trying so many different uh, eyelashes from the drugstore because I want to do like a whole eyelash from the drugstore video. Give me a like if you want to see something like that, like a guide for lashes and have try-ons and just talk about my favorite lashes from the drugstore. Anywho, these have for sure become one of my favorites super quickly. I think that these look so natural and the reason that I love these so much is because they're not super long like this way. You know what I mean? They're kind of shorter so they look more natural. It's something that I can wear every single day and I don't feel like it looks unnatural. I don't feel like... I'm, ne I'm, not, I'm never worried that someone's going to realize that these are fake lashes. Do you know what I mean? So uh, I really like these for like an everyday use. I've been really enjoying them. Um, and these kiss lashes are actually really nice because they taper off really thin. So I feel like they look the naturalist and they're a really good price. Next, I'm just gonna say it. I have been loving my beauty blender. I It's been a while since I've actually used a beauty blender. I've been using the Beach Cosmetics Beauty Sponge for so long, which it works great. For some reason, the Beauty Blender, I specifically like when I'm blending out concealer. I don't know what it is. Like the foundation, I feel like it blends it out the same as my uh, BH Cosmetic one. But for some reason, when it comes to concealer, this one just makes the concealer look so flawless right underneath the eyes. I don't know what it is. It could just be my brain making things up. Also, really quickly, everything that I'm mentioning today, I'm wearing on my face except those lashes. Everything else, all the makeup, it's all in my favorites. So check out my Instagram if you want to see what exactly is where. I posted this look up last week. Next, I guess I'll talk about this. This is the Day Moisturizing Cream by Avisia Organics. Avisia? 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 Avisia. Avisia. Avisia Organics and it is a day moisturizing cream so it's a moisturizer this does not have any SPF in it from what I see but holy moly is this moisturizing and hydrating on my skin I have to make sure that I don't use too much because it really does give me so much moisture to my skin if you have oily skin you might not enjoy that but if you have dry skin this is for you it is also organic which is always a I really have been enjoying it. The only thing with this, I must say, it has a distinct, interesting smell about it. I can't.
can't put my finger at first. I'm just kind of like, but it is so hydrating and it's so nice. It comes out as a really, really thin, thin formula. Then as you massage it into the skin, it turns into a super, super hydrating, almost starts to feel a little bit thick, but not like a gross thick. And it just, seriously for dry skin, it makes my skin feel so incredible and it's amazing. It is amazing and because I like it so much, because I feel like the formula is so unique, usually moisturizers are either really thick, especially if they're moisturizing, they're not really ever thin like that. Um, I keep using it and I keep loving it. I will deal with the weird smell. Honestly, I notice that a lot of organic type of beauty products have like a weird smell to them. I don't know if it's because of all the organic stuff, like they're not putting an extra fragrance in there. Uh, like it's just, you know, interesting. It's a very natural smell. I am doing a secret Instagram giveaway with this. So uh, make sure to check out my Instagram. All you have to do is comment on my Instagram picture uh, where you see this little baby and you could possibly win one of these to try for yourself so it's free just go do it let's get into some fun stuff my eye color right now so this is the airborn uh virtual illusion on the town gold collection uh palette um so there's going to be what is this um there is a highlighter in here and for eyeshadows and this is what the palette kind of looks like it has a huge mirror and then these are the four eyeshadows and then the highlighter and I am wearing every single one of these eyeshadows in my look today I'm wearing this on my lid a little bit this of this on the outer corner and smoked out in the lower lash line I have this red into the crease really smoked out and blended out I have this in the inner corners and right underneath the brow bone and oh my gosh I love these these are so so soft and pigmented and beautiful especially this color right here I feel like it is super super unique it is kind of like a yellowish like a yellow white gold color I'll swatch the I'll swatch them all for you so here's the reddish one sorry that I have like a lipstick swatch the only one that's not as pigmented is the charcoal gray one, but uh, whenever you put it on the eyelid and uh, with a primer, it actually looks a lot better. So this is this little palette right here, and you can see that one is not as pigmented, but whenever it's on the eyelid, I actually like it and you can build it up. And with a primer, it looks way better. But I'm super impressed with this. This is the first time trying Airbon, and uh, and I really actually do enjoy it. Along with, since we're talking about eyeshadow palettes, this is the Wet n Wild Poster Child eyeshadow palette. And yet again, I'm so thankful that I bought this and that I have it. There's just so many fun colors in here. But man, every single year, I thought I wouldn't use this as much. I got it two years ago for like Halloween, and I still use it. It was only like $3.99 or $4.99, something like that. Super pigmented, I use it every year and I use it more often than I would think. This is it right here, swatched. And I think that these are so gorgeous, so soft. I'll just swipe it one time and look at that, look at the blue. So I'm not like trying to trick you guys or anything like that. Like Wet n Wild has it going on when it comes to their um, eyeshadow palette. Along with those fun colors is the Eye Magic 12 Color Flash Palette. You guys, this is such a good buy and it was so inexpensive, especially on Amazon, it was like $12. And it's very comparable to the Forever 21. Oh, I said Forever 21. It's so comparable to the Makeup Forever Flash Palette. The colors are absolutely gorgeous. They blend out, they're pigmented. Um, every single one of these colors just look really good. So I'll swatch a couple of these. These are super creamy and um, I absolutely love, love, love this palette. It is really great. And um, especially if you are like a makeup junkie like I am, you like to do different looks. You like to do bright looks, maybe your Instagram, makeup Instagrammer. If that even made sense, that's them swatched, some of them swatched. And I've used this probably for every single Halloween tutorial that I've done except 
for the Enchantress one because I didn't really need much in that one. That one was so easy. But uh, I absolutely love this Eye Magic palette and I'm so glad that I got it. I I really do like it, you guys. You can do some cool stuff and you don't have to spend a lot of money. You don't have to go buy the most expensive thing. And uh, I'm so glad that I got this Eye Magic palette. Seriously, it is amazing, you guys. Go check out. I know Halloween is past, but you can still go check out those tutorials because those are actually pretty cool looks. So. Let's talk about my, by far the thing that I am the most impressed with, the thing that has just, I have loved and I'm just so, like I feel like it's a find for me, it's like a wowzer find, is an eyebrow pencil. And this one is from Flower Beauty. Who would have known that Flower Beauty had an awesome eyebrow pencil? I don't know. This is the perfect color. This one was in Dark Brunette. That's what I did this bold, bold eyebrow with today. It's the perfect color. The formulation is amazing, and I feel like it's the perfect thickness too. It's a dark brown, but it's more on the cooler side. Uh, I feel like an eyebrow pencil, if you make it warm at all, just a little bit of a red, when it shows up on your skin, it's going to show up 10 times more redder than it actually is, like if you were to swatch it in the back of your hand. You know what I mean? I feel like eyebrows are just so sensitive that any red pigment in there, it's gonna show up a lot more red. So uh, I love that it's a cool brown. I love that just the thickness, it's not as thick as the um, e.l.f. one. I think the e.l.f. one is way too thick, but it's not super, super thin either. And so I feel like it's enough product. It's really going to last you a, a, a good while. I mean, I went through the L'Oreal, like the micro brow pencil so quickly. And this one lasts a lot longer than that. I think it's because it's just so thick, so much product in here. And then this is a brush. It's a teeny, teeny brush. It kind of reminds me of the brush on the Anastasia number 12 uh, brush that they have, you know, the double-ended brush. Anywho, I really do like this uh, eyebrow pencil. And compared to the L'Oreal one, it's like almost half of the price. The L'Oreal one is like $12, around there, $13. This one came out to like seven, six or seven dollars, which is great. I think it is great. And it's kind of one of those products that nobody talks about, but I like that the formula, it's a little bit drier to the point where it's not just gonna rub off. Like if you see right here, it's not rubbing off. The L'Oreal one I noticed, as well as the e.l.f. one, they're so creamy that if I put it on my eyebrow and then I just do this, like a half of my brow will come off. I do not want that. I have kids touching my face. I touch my face. And uh, I don't want my eyebrow coming off when I'm on a date with a hot, sexy redhead. You know what I mean? Like I want it to stay put. Next let's talk about my power duo. I don't know if I've talked about this in other favorites. I hope not. This is my power duo as far as foundation. It gives me that flawless, beautiful, natural finish on my skin and it just looks gorgeous and I just absolutely love how it looks on my skin. And this is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi mixed with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation that I'm super impressed with. You guys know I have dry skin, I love this, but whenever I don't want to add oil to this to make it so it's not super dry on my skin, I add the Lumi. And the Lumi is fantastic. I have tried different illuminating foundations to mix with this, uh, with the Pro Matte. And uh, like I tried like the Infallible, the Pro Glow one, and it just, something about that just did not work out. But these two together give me a better coverage and just a smoothness and a flawlessness to it that just looks so amazing on the skin. I'm not even kidding, especially in person, like on camera too, but especially in person, like it is just gorgeous. There's just something about these two. I use these two with my beauty blender and it just makes my skin look fantastic and I'm super impressed with it. Let's just take a moment to talk about this strip lash adhesive um, with aloe and this one is from Oh my gosh, it doesn't say. I'm pretty sure it's Kiss. 
is it Kiss that does this one? Yes, it's Kiss. Kiss has been stepping up their game with lashes. Now they have lash adhesive. They have like a black and clear one in like the tube, or if you like the brush on one. These all have aloe, and um, I have super sensitive eyes. I, ha I get an allergic reaction to like the duo one. Even the duo one with aloe, I notice it just stings and my eyes get bloodshot at the end of the night. This one is latex free, and uh, I actually really do love this one. 10 times more than the duo one. This one is also way more affordable. The Duo one's like five bucks. It's not super expensive. It's like five dollars. But this one is like two or three dollars, you guys. And it's great. It's stickier. I feel like I don't have to wait at all. Like I just put this on, kind of shape it a little bit, put it on my tweezer, and then it's ready to go on my eye. And it's really sticky. But there's more. It's not only super, super sticky, but also whenever I take it off and if there's any residue left on my eye, like my eyelid, it's easier for me to take off. The dual one, if I have like a chunk of glue stuck on my eyelash or eyelid, forget it. I'm not getting it out for days unless I use oil and like scrub it out. Like it's super, super sticky and like it won't come off your eye. This, actually, you just pull it off and it just comes off super, super easy. It doesn't pull my eyelashes off. It doesn't pull my eyelid. It's just really comfortable. And I'm super impressed with this eyelash pull. I'm never going back to the duo one. You guys, if you haven't tried the Kiss one, give it a try -Z. <laughs> Give it a try. It's really, really good. So let's have a moment of congratulatory clapping because a Dollar Tree item made it to my favorites video. Yeah! So the Dollar Tree item that made it to my favorites video is this LA Colors blush. Yes. First of all, it's LA Colors. Wow. Second off, it's only a dollar. And third, it's a blush. It's a Dollar Tree blush and it made it here to my favorites. This one's called Berry Plum. You guys saw it in my recent Dollar Tree mini haulish thing that I did, and it's what I'm wearing as a blush today. I was super careful with it this time because it really is pigmented, and uh, it's just gorgeous. It doesn't swatch super pigmented, but when you put it on your cheeks, it can get pretty pigmented with a brush. So beware, and I love it, and it's what I'm wearing as a blush today and then right here on top of the apples of the cheeks let me tell you this other blush this is like my favorite combo right now is the hourglass ambient lighting blush and diffused heat looks like this and that's what i have right here on the apples of the cheek that was giving me a little bit of a glow right on my cheek area and it's gorgeous i don't know what it is about it this ambient blush is beautiful it's like a soft pink with a little bit of a glow it doesn't look as nice on my skin as a swatch but on the cheeks i think it looks absolutely gorgeous right on the apples of the cheeks to give me a little bit of a glow i really really do like it these blushes are amazing makes me want to go back and get more of these ambient blushes uh they're really good hourglass got it going on you guys know that they're a good brand all right we better get a move on on these things we have two more things let's talk about some lippies uh i could not not talk about this because even on the days where i'm literally wearing like no makeup makeup like the most minimal makeup because i'm just going to walmart real quick this is what i put on this is the color pop lippy stick and lumiere this is what i have on right now you guys I'm obsessed with it. It is gorgeous. I think it is the prettiest, prettiest color ever. I wear it every day and I just love it so much. I'm so glad that I chose to pick it up because it's beautiful. Also, the NYX Lingerie. This one is in the shade, I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, it's Trap and it's just a really gorgeous color and it's perfect browns are my jam this time of year and this is like a rosy brown i don't know what's wrong with like my color like my color vision of things this looks like a rosy brown to me what do you think that's it we made it through my favorites we made it through the favorites for this month of october i had so much fun in october i know i had a lot of things in my favorites this month these are my true 
faves of the faves for this month. Uh, but yeah, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are not following me on all my social media, where have you been? Go follow me. It's just Bomb Beautiful on Instagram, Flickr, Twitter, Tumblr, and Bomb Beautiful page for my Facebook page. You guys can go follow me there. Did you know I have a Facebook page? And I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. You should give it a big old fat like, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.